All right, uh, we're gonna give this a shot. Sorry, bear with me. Not done this before, so hopefully this works. Uh, we'll minimize this bad boy here. And um, if you're like me, then you recently purchased an A7R5 and the um, raw files cannot be imported into Lightroom just yet because there's no new camera raw that supports the camera. So now we have to essentially trick the program into thinking it's a different camera than it is through the uh, EXIF data. And um, I got most of this information from this gentleman here, Danny Bly, thank you, Danny. Um, but he was working with Mac and I'm on PC, so things didn't really translate 100%. Most of it does. Um, another caveat, if you shot in uh, lossless compressed RAW, then this will not work. You will need to then go to the Sony website or so Sony uh, Imaging Edge Desktop application, and then you can open it up in the application there um, and export them as 16-bit TIFFs. Um, should be pretty dang close to RAW, but not quite RAW. So if you want raw, as it stands right now, you need to be shooting in compressed raw or uncompressed raw, no lossless. So if you shot in those un uncompressed or compressed, uh, then you, you, know, you bring your files into the computer. I'll show here even if these are the original files, I will attempt to open up Lightroom and import them. And as you can see, preview unavailable. So that's no good. So what you will need is to go to exiftool.org and download the Windows executable if you're on Windows. Um, when you download that file, it will show up, it will download, it'll come in as this, with this negative K. Um, we're gonna get rid of that. I believe the negative K in the parentheses or hyphen K is to keep the program open in the executable window after it runs. Um, but uh, we're gonna get rid of it. Okay, so um, here is what it's going to actually look like. So uh, originally from uh, Danny, this is what it was here, right? And we're gonna get, uh, we're going to add, sorry, this .exe. When you do get the file, you also need to right click on it and get rid, uh, you're gonna add the .exe, which maybe you do not need to, but I did. Um, and you are going to get rid of that uh, hyphen F. How many different ways can I say dash, hyphen, negative, whatever. Anyway, okay, so first we're gonna open up command prompt and run that as administrator. Okay, once we've got that open, we need to navigate to where the exif file is, which is, I've got it here. So it's in my D, so here we are, CD, and then I believe, yes, it's here. So we'll copy that and paste it here. Okay, we are now in this file here. So now we're going to copy and paste this line here. So we'll copy that and we'll paste that here. Add a space, make sure you add the space. And then you're going to give it the directory for where the files are, which is here. So we'll add that here. Make sure there's a space. There it is. It's running. It's doing its thing. And as you can see over here, now we have uh, new files. Um, if we now take these files and drag these over to Lightroom, ta da! It shows your raw files from your brand new A7R5. And you can now manipulate them just as you would any other raw file. So hopefully that helps you. Um, yeah, good luck.